Shalom, shalom. In today's video, man, I'm here to drop this, you know, repost and react to this video that, uh, you know, came across my feed. And it leads into the thumbnail where I said the immigrants will rise up. You know, the terminology has went from a legal alien, a legal citizen, you know, migrant, immigrant. They always switch. They always switch the terminology to sway your mind a certain direction. If they tell you they're illegals, they know it's going to provoke a emotional stimuli and you will be against. If they don't say they're illegals, then you're like, oh, OK, they're under a different uh, status. When I was a drill sergeant, you know, several soldiers or trainees uh, from each basic training class we would always have these soldiers. There was a program at the time called the Mavni program. And what that was, was a program to help you earn your citizenship. And there was a lot of good uh, soldiers that came out of that program. But there was also some that were security violations. And they found this out later and they did away with the program. You know, when I was on recruiting many years later, people would ask, you know, for sake of their children, because they themselves didn't have legal status, would ask if their children could join and earn their citizenship you know, via the Mavni program. And I would have to tell them, yeah, that program is old and it only lasted for a certain amount of time. But the bad thing is there's no longer a required, how, how can you justify making somebody put in an application to earn citizenship? Working with immigration, checking on a status, and they just open the floodgates to allow, uh, a, you know, as they call it, migrants in. And in today's video, I want you to think about when I play this clip, how can this country afford to do this? How can they afford to help? you know, migrants, as they call them, with housing. They've already given health care. While you, you wake up and try to play the system the right way, you punch in and punch out, you know, playing it by the book. And you're going to hear some things in here that you yourself, as a citizen, don't even qualify for. Let me pull up the national debt ceiling current. Let's see where we're at. Okay. As of August 28th, 2024, the national debt for the United States was 35 point Two one trillion dollars. This is the total amount of money that the federal government has borrowed over the course of the country's history. When you think about that, you'll realize, man, we cannot ever get out of debt because 
Not only will these people give it, mark it on your calendar in the next 10 years. These migrants are going to rise up over the average person. And this video is going to show you how if other states. You know, take the take the bait and follow suit behind California. Migrants will rise up. This is why I've been telling you, you know, if you go to my business playlist, I, I, I'm i talking to you about something that's out of the box so you can uh, you can start paving a way for yourself. Man, let's go ahead and roll the footage. California has a program meant to help low income first time home buyers get a down payment. William Lajeunesse Ness joins me. William, could this program soon be available to illegal migrants? Well, Stuart, that is what Democrats are trying to ram through Sacramento right now. It's basically a program. All right, listen to who they, listen to what political group they said was pushing for this. See, they want you ignorant. They don't want anybody asking these questions at the rallies and at these debates about the national debt ceiling and what you're going to do and in your tenure, uh, if elected, what you can do and how much do you think you can bring it down. They don't want that. Let's keep going. Subsidizes qualified illegal immigrants to up to $100,000 each by home. So Qualified illegal immigrants sounds like an oxymoron right sounds kind of hypocritical qualified illegal immigrants you qualified but you illegal and also an immigrant program is called the california dream for all program it's created to help middle and income home buyers. Now, initially, the program required residents to be here legally, either a U.S. citizen or a legal permanent resident. But last week, Assembly Democrats overrode Republican opposition, changing that eligibility to say this. An applicant who meets the requirements for a loan under the Home Purchase Assistance Program shall not be disqualified by the agency based solely on the applicant's immigration status. The so let me tell you this, you know, nothing bothers me more when I hear uninformed or, uh, I'll say Israelites still asking for this government to give them 40 acres and a mural. They're not going to give it to you. Listen to what I'm saying. That is dead. Don't expect it. You are going to have to return to the covenant and free yourself from this system as much as you can while we are in exile. If you are in Israel, period, even if you are not by bloodline, you know, but you are walking righteously, you are going to have to free yourself from this system. Free yourself. They said they would not disqualify somebody based upon their immigration status. You got to understand, you have people out here, I've done a Sabbath teaching on it, that have felonies for, you know, stuff and have turned their life around. And there was a, a, a term in there where I told you, if you were a felon, you are legally dead to them. But here they are saying you are a qualified, illegal immigrant. Let's keep going. And economic benefits of homeownership should be accessible to everyone, regardless of immigration status. So the program provides first time buyers with a zero interest loan up to 20% of a home's purchase price. 
on a medium priced home in California. That's about $150,000 cash up front for each. Now keep in mind, he said it's a 0% interest loan up to $150,000 or 20%, either or, okay? In saying that, when you look at the cost of a home in California, you're talking about a house over five, six hundred thousand dollars $600,000. And they're going to get 20% interest free. Now, the reason I'm telling you that these migrants are going to rise up is because they're going to be given... Uh, so many different breaks and watch what you will see is uh, you're going to see uh, multiple families living in one house until they can break away until they've uh, built some kind of skin in the game. And this is why I said the next 10 years. They're going to rise up. This is the workforce that's going to come behind and do uh, the labor intensive task for a short amount of time. And then they're going to take over. They're going to own uh, businesses. This is why I'm telling people, man, if you have a skill set or something, start a business. Get you some skin in the game. What you're going to have happen is these people are going to rise up. And you will be their servant. You will be putting in an application to work for people uh that came here with maybe some socks and drawers and a backpack. That's where we're headed. And I'm telling you to get your head out your fourth port in contact. Because it's not looking good. Higher with their down payment and help with closing costs. So far this year, the program cost taxpayers about $255 million to help about 2,000 buyers. Listen to how much money. See, this is why I say, man, the wealthy, we've even had a president tell you that they don't pay taxes. He didn't pay taxes. The wealthy has told you that they don't pay taxes. On my business playlist, man, I've got some stuff that will help you out and get the gears going so you can benefit off of that like the wealthy. You're sitting out here trying to play the game fair you know, trying to do it the way uh, that you've been told in order to follow the American dream. And it will never happen for you. It will never happen for you. You need to follow the way of the book. The way of the Bible. Set yourself apart. Be ye separate. Here they are. You're working. And I want you to understand if you're making a decent amount of money, how much taxes they take out. If you're a W-2 earner. And this is going to help people who they call qualified, illegal immigrants. Let's keep going. The bill is sponsored by a prominent Latino rights group with close ties to Vice President Harris. What the rest of the American needs to be worried about is the Kamala uh, Harris Waltz administration taking these crazy California ideas and nationalizing them and taking them to the rest of the country. The country can't afford to buy illegal immigrants' homes. Now, let me tell you this. It would be wise, you know, for a lot of people to downsize. It would be wise. It would be wise for you. To start something of your own. Because we're going to see. You know in contracting I've seen something. I've seen a shift. I've seen a shift where you once had people. Uh, waiting outside of Home Depot and Lowe's and standing around the contractor pickup areas, you know, for work. Or you could go when I was in South Carolina, there was a gas station to where they would all pretty much 
stage. They'd have their lunch ba- lunch uh, boxes, they'd have their tool bags, and they would line up for work. And fast forward to today, now when you see the contractor section at Lowe's, you see these people that have, uh, you know, earned their skin in the game far as in the workforce. Now they own the businesses. Now they drive the price and it's no longer the cheapest price in town. Now it's we have the highest price, but we'll get the work done quicker than anybody else. We're going to see that all over again. And here you are trying to play the system the right way. Glad that you are a taxpayer and they're telling you that your taxpaying dollars are going to help qualified, illegal immigrants. There's a difference between legal and illegal. And this guy is telling you, you need to be worried about the Democrats nationalizing this. They're coming up with tech. See, the work that these immigrants are going to do, AI is not going to be able to replace. These immigrants are going to be able to do everything that you as an American feel you are too good to do. Oh, I need to be working in an office. I need to be uh, I need to be at home, a remote job. I need to be, uh, you know, in the AC and I can't do this kind of work. I'm entitled Telling you, you better get your head out your fourth point of contact. So eventually, Stuart, the state is repaid with a little appreciation. It is run by a state eight. National debt ceiling as of August 28, 2024 is $35.21 trillion. And they're talking about the state is repaid a little appreciation. We can't afford that. This country is broke in taking the money of taxpayers, creating programs that will get us further in debt. Let's keep going. See that will then help the immigrant obtain the other 80% of the financing. Uh, The bill is expected to pass this week. We don't know what Governor Newsom is going to do. Sign it or not. Back to you. My guess is he'll sign it, but that's another story. William, thank you very much indeed. So there you have it, man. This is uh, another shocking current event. And I'm going to follow this topic, man, hoping to, uh, you know, stimulate your minds and um, get those gears going so you can help set yourself apart. Close to the Yah Ministries, kicking that thing gun barrel straight. Bow.